Hey everybody, Headspace Connections back with another video. This time we're going to be talking about another altar. We're going to be continuing our altar roles and function series. We're going to be talking about an altar that you don't really hear a lot about. I don't know if really it comes as the system develops more or what, but these are known as gatekeeper altars. Now, with said job of gatekeeper altars, their job is usually to help traumatize altars to keep them from fronting. For example, say if they have problems with self-harm or eating problems and or things like that, they'll keep those from not really necessary, necessarily to, from fronting, but will help them stabilize enough to where they don't do something to harm the body or anybody else. Now, they can also hold back memories or control which altars can front and who has access to what, sometimes on the inside, and can even police the borders between subsystems. Now, gatekeeper altars, because of this capabilities, they can be very highly stabilizing to a system. Now, because to an extent, they can also help prevent unwanted switching, uh, failure to switch to the correct altar, for whatever event that's going on. They can also help prevent traumatic memories from bleeding onto other altars who may not be able to handle that, the emotions or the memories involved. They can also help kind of lessen the effects of switching so that it's not so obvious, especially if you're switching from one altar to one with an entirely different personality or different mannerisms than the previous one. They can help kind of ebb those down a little bit so it's not so overly obvious. This is where you get where, they, where DID is a covert disorder because they are said altars that will help make it to where it's not so visible to everybody else. Now, because of their role and because of their job, they are oftentimes or always near the front to be able to see what's happening to the system and so that they can see if what may need to be controlled or not. Now, because of that, they can experience a vast amount of abuse and may even present as ageless, emotionless, non-human, as a way to process and cope with the said abuse that they have seen or undergone. They also can work as internal self-helpers. So they can even have like vast amounts of knowledge of the system in general, which makes them more qualified to do the job that they have. I know for us, we have a couple gatekeepers. We generally do co-con teams or co-conscious teams. So, may or may not have a gatekeeper added with those said teams. And basically what they do is to help kind of lessen the, the visual aspect of said switches. It doesn't, not always 100% well done, but it's a learning process. But that basically covers our video on gatekeepers. If we yeah, missed anything or if we need to add anything, feel free to let us know. Comment down below. This basically covers the video. Again, if you guys like what we do and want to learn more, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. And it'll let you know when we upload a new video. Again, we love to hear from you guys. We also have some other accounts that we are active on in our Instagram, Pinterest, and Tumblr. We will post those in the description. And you can follow us or personally DM us on those. And we're okay with that. We are very much open to talking to people. Anyway, we hope you guys like this video. Day or night, whatever part of the world you're from. We hope you guys have a good one, and we'll see you guys next time, all right? Bye.